Not since the horrors of the Black Plague has our land seen such despair. Almost two millennia after Sigmar founded the Empire, the realm is fractured and broken. Three rival factions claim the Imperial Crown, Marienburg, Middenheim, and Reitland. Lure of power brings the armies of men against one another in a seemingly endless tide of battle. An island of peace in a sea of conflict, Mordheim drew wealth such as the city had never seen into its walls. But with its prosperity came the corruption of arrogance and hedonism and greed. The gods could not long abide the outrages of Mordheim's populace. In the heavens, an ill star appeared. A great twin-tailed comet that some priests warned was nothing less than the Hammer of Sigma. They preached tidings of doom and repentance, but their sermons were ignored. An attitude of rebellious revelry gripped the city as the comet grew ever nearer. The grand festival to celebrate the turn of the year was a mockery of the apocalyptic prophecies. It was then that the hammer fell. The fiery comet plowed through the city, gouging a deep crater in the midst of the poor quarter. The wondrous palace of Count Steinhard was broken. The grand amphitheater shattered. The vast great library blighted by a pall of ash. Fire and smoke decimated the populace, but worse awaited the survivors. A malignant corruption that brought with it mutation and madness. The vile taint of chaos. In the shattered city, strange green black stones were. Who among you shall die today? Ah, thanks, Silver. Sorry, guys. All I was saying was, um, yeah, if, as I normally do a, give a, a bit of a spiel about this at the start of the stream. If you haven't already bought this game, highly recommend you go to Instant Gaming and grab it. It's like, it'll be like $1.60 or $2 or something. Um, yeah, the base game is always heavily discounted on Instant Gaming. You can get it when it's on, when there's a Steam sale, it'll be on Steam for like a dollar or two dollars as well. It's not currently on sale though, so if you want to grab it, just get you go to Instant Gaming, get a Steam key from Instant Gaming, and then just go and install it on Steam if you use Steam. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a cool game. So, the Warband. Um, we've got a few injuries, so we just have to trade out a couple of our injured guys. Uh, actually, we might bring the spawn in. So if we bring the spawn in, we can put the spawn instead of both Both of our injured guys can come out and we just replace it with the spawn. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, we've got Ulfberth, who is our Thousand Eyes Destroyer Clawfoot Marauder. Um, we've also got our new Marauder, who's our, like, featureless face cheese Marauder. Um, actually... Actually, yeah, let's... We can actually, no, we won't bring the spawn in. We'll bring in the cheese Marauder. And... And our other possessed. So, yeah, this possessed... Did we... We didn't get any... We haven't got any armbands still, have we? No, we still haven't got any armbands. Um, yeah, it kind of sucks, but... Um, it is what it is. Grab his clothes. He's got a white axe. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, okay. So we'll give him... What's the white axe do? 22 to 26. Speed. Blue speed does 21 to 30. Yeah, the speed is like slightly better and more accurate. 
Uh, I'm not sure what to do with these three extra points. Like, if we get a book of agility, give him 20 agility, um, which would be pretty cool. Uh, or we can just give him six strength. Um, we give him six strength, give him level one strength, give him level one armor proficiency. But yeah, it doesn't matter. We don't have to worry about that right now. Yeah, I want this guy to... <clears throat> I want this guy to be a... Just a damage dealer, primarily. These guys, are, he's just like a temporary... A temporary warband member, pretty much, for the moment. Level two. Uh, once he gets a bit higher, we'll probably just sack him. But we can keep him for another one more mission. Give him a... Um, that's great axe. Mm, yeah, this guy's going to be able to cheese his movement. Which should be pretty cool. Um, 15% dodge. Yeah, I, mean, I could give him clothing and get 30% dodge, but it's like barely any better. I'll just give him the light armor. Yeah, this should be pretty good, I think. And hired swords. Um, yeah, so there's a level 7 lord here that I want to get. But... Um, I think we've got time now because I think we just got masterwork quality heavy armor sick um so new hide swords on the 31st so 29 so we've got two more days till there's new hide swords so if we want to get that leader he should still be there for at least two more days so I think we're good <clears throat> for the moment uh, I'd like to save up some extra money though so that if a really good mutant comes up we're not caught short um, uh, yeah so purple heavy armor I think we're going to award the purple heavy armor to star of the warband the vagabond butcher the OG super tramp boom he's got the purple armor now Um, and enchanting mark of commanders leadership accuracy no that's pretty crap veterans toughness and alertness yeah uh, I've got no blue helmet runes got no blue weapon runes all right we'll just leave him like that all right um Deadly good good. Uh, can't go wrong with that. <clears throat> Your scouts have discovered a rival band in the vicinity. These warriors are clustered around their wagon, making them a very attractive target. A new round has started. Oh, I forgot to give one of my um, one of my guys a weapon. He's got a dagger still. That's alright. His job is just to die anyway. He can do. He can die with a dagger as well as he can die with an axe. Sometimes they. Sometimes when you give them a great axe, they do sometimes come in with a heavy charge and just actually do a good amount of damage though. So, ooh, nice. Uh, this one's not wordstone rush, but there's. It's still nice to get all the wordstone. Yeah, because he's got a dagger, so he's got, like, really high initiative. Yeah. 
That's not very particularly good, but it's alright. Warrior. Wait for the enemy to move. Who are we up against? Is this Sisters of Sigma? Ah, Witch Hunters. I Reaper Bloodwink. Let's go. Um. Okay, cool. Yeah, we can run through there. I won't block the door, though. We'll just um, wait here. All right, get out possessed. Yeah, so I bought this Marauder. I'm not going to really keep him, but I just bought him just specifically so I could show off this movement cheese. Um, I think he's got the two-handed hammer, though, so I think he goes, like, right, probably goes last. But, yeah, if you get um, if you get an eyeless face one, I think it is, that gives you perception, the free perception, or if you play an auger sister sisters of sigma auger they get free perception then you can just use the perception ability to just move infinite just move like tiptoe around like a tiny bit of movement at a time and just infinitely keep moving um yeah it's pretty uh it's pretty cheesy and it's not that much fun either because it's kind of annoying having to keep doing it but um but yeah it's pretty cool i mean it's a it's a thing you can do Hey, you as well. <clears throat> yeah, man, looking forward to tomorrow. Should be fun. I'll just put that there. Let's have a constant timer going. Alright, here's our, uh, our Magister. Our Lord and Saviour. Check out how big this sword is. Literally bigger than he is. It's like seven foot long. This is our wordstone. I claim it in the name of Kern if Corn.
Yeah, I'm definitely uh, definitely fighting a bit. Um, I feel like yeah, I feel like sleep. Uh, what do you call it? Um, yeah, food is the enemy of wakefulness. It's pretty hard to stay awake if you're um, if you've had a big meal. That's the eyeless. That's the eyeless face mutant. Also cold. Yeah, cold. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Although, well, mm, yeah. Although warmth is kind of makes you sleepy as well. But yeah, cold kind of tires you out, doesn't it? Hey, WMD. Yeah, I'm going good, buddy. Got um, free LC tomorrow. So I'm going to be able to show off the new um, the new Thrones of Decay stuff. Not the DLC part, but the just the free LC updates. Should be good. Maybe I'll just maybe I'll put this back to full size, but I'll just hide it again. So yeah, 19 hours, 48 minutes and 33 seconds till we get to check out the new stuff. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's that long. I've got a timer. Yeah, so this is our new mutant. So we've got this ability called Perception, which normally costs, I think, one blue pill. But we can use it for free because we've got this mutation of uh, having an eyeless face. So yeah, so basically what that means is if you get this, if you get this mutation, then you can move a little bit, and then see that's where we that was where we started, right? We can move a little bit, and then go here, and then do perception, and then that'll put a new blue spot here, and then you can move a little bit more. You can't do it anymore. Oh, you can't do it at all. Oh, okay. I thought you could do it infinitely. Oh, maybe it's only if you fail. Oh, it's only if you fail. Okay. So, uh, perception. See how, see that um, chest there? How you can see through the walls? Yeah, sorry. I thought perception allowed you to just basically move infinitely because I've used it before like a couple of times to move, um, get extra movement. Um, but um but yeah it's kind of cool though one thing you might not know about perception as well is like when you do perception you can see through walls you can see enemies and you can see loot and you can see traps the other thing is it moves with you as well so you can like run around and just be able to see there's a trap there you know what else is going on you know you can just run around and check out every check everything out and it'll show you where all the traps are and all that sort of stuff but um but what i thought was going to happen is like if you like just say I move to like just say I move to here there's a blue dot there right um, and if I move off the blue dot then it uses more movement right but then if I move back onto the blue dot again and then I just tiptoe over here until I get near this chest then it doesn't use any movement so you can just you can just like tiptoe like yeah you can put down your blue dot then move a little bit off the blue dot but not enough not enough that you're fully off it but enough that you get a bit of extra movement and then you just like you know access a chest or whatever and then you then you get a new blue dot that's exactly where the chest is you know um and yeah you can just use that to move around so anyway so if you've got the free perception skill it allows you to do one extra like one extra tiptoe basically whenever you want but um but yeah but if you fail if your perception test fails then you can do it again and if it fails again you can do it again etc 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 so um so yeah so uh, i yeah i thought you could just do it infinitely but i didn't realize that if you're yeah if you succeed it won't let you do it again but um but you could still probably get a few you could probably get a, the other little bit of cheese out of it um but it's not really worth like the only reason the the only reason I took that guy was so I could show you that cheese, which actually doesn't work. So <laughs> that was a bit of a waste. Like you could get some use out of it, but it's not worth a having a mutation wasted. Started. You feel strangely warm when freezing to death. Yeah, I don't know. The coldest I've ever been. One time, um, we were like. 
on our... <laughs> I'm trying to sound... I'm trying to figure out how to tell this story in a way that's going to make me sound cool. I can't really think of a good way. Um, so anyway, so me and my mate, we just finished... We'd just finished the end of year for school, at school. It was like when we were in like year nine or something, I think. Like when we were like 15. And um, so we were old enough to not be complete retards apparently, but not, but not. Anyway, so it was the end of, um, it was the end of the school year and um, we were feeling all like exuberant and shit. And, um, but we had like nothing to do or anywhere to, nowhere to go or anything. And um, so one of us, probably me, decided that a good thing to do would prefer us to, um, I don't know, jump into this sand pit that was full of water. I don't know if you like a sand pit is like a like where kids little, like little kids play in the sand. There'll be like a big box filled up with sand, and like in a park or something, and kids will just play in the sand and make sandcastles and shit. Anyway, whatever. And um, so yeah, so we decided to jump into the sand pit that was full of water because it had been raining heavily, and get all wet. Uh, I don't know. It seemed like a cool thing, like a crazy, crazy thing to do, you know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we thought we were pretty cool anyway and uh, yeah so that was really cold and then it was and then it started raining but like not that like rain you know sometimes it rains and it kind of makes it warms it up a little bit like the rain takes the edge off the cold or something it wasn't that type of rain it was the rain that's just like freezing fucking cold and um yeah so we were but we weren't just like you know when you get rained on and you're like wet but but you're not like fully wet but because we jumped into a sand pit full of water we were like completely drenched through to the bone you know like we just jumped into a pool um but but not a warm pool um anyway and uh yeah so we we um yeah so we went home we had to walk home it was like 20 minute walk um and it was like freezing cold um and yeah it was pretty cold. <laughs> it wasn't Canada cold. It wasn't Canada cold. We'd be dead if it was Canada. Um, but uh, but yeah, it was like it was probably like five degrees or something, you know, five, five degrees Celsius. A little bit, like a little bit above freezing. Oh, I think I see an enemy over there. <clears throat> Alright, I'll just I'll just stay on this point here so we can get a dodge stance in there. Without the rain we might have been fine, maybe. I don't know. I feel like there wasn't that much bad luck. It was mainly bad management. But yeah, maybe. I feel like you're being generous there. I'll take it. But yeah, anyway, um but yeah, that was probably the coldest that I've been. Um but um, yeah, the the reason I remember being so cold is because after I got home, I had a hot sh and uh, many of you might have had this experience before. I had a hot shower to like warm up, or, like a warm shower or whatever, and like I could have barely like I could barely um, like the I couldn't really handle the the water, like even just like the water not even being hot, like just very lukewarm water. It felt like it was burning my skin because my skin was all like frozen and dead and stuff and yeah that was pretty bad that was pretty cold all right this guy's probably gonna die and lose all this wordstone later on but we'll see how we go was my mate okay yeah my mate was all right he was tough. He was like a Yugoslavian dude. So he was tough. Maybe we'll go for a bit of a ambush stance, I reckon. So many mothers put their freezing kids into a hot bathtub and they sadly die because of the shock. Oh, crazy. Send him to the wagon. Um, I don't think we're... Uh, we could, I guess. He's pretty fast. But he's not very tough. So he'd probably die. I, th I was gonna... I was thinking about using... The, the, I, when I thought the cheese was gonna give me infinite movement, um, I was gonna send the other guy to do it. I wonder if we might have got unlucky... 
Because if he's like, if he's really dumb, then he should fail the perception tests, right? Is there something I can do to reduce his intelligence so that he'll fail perception tests more often? I guess other than just... Have we got claw feet? Yeah, we've got claw feet. We can outrange this dude. There we go. How about you take a massive charge to the face? My man. Yeah, we've got this guy's a charge specialist. He's got clawed foot, so he's got super long range charge. He can always charge people from outside of their range. And he's um and he's got a super accurate charge that pretty much always hits. Blank. There you go, buddy. Ooh, okay, that hurt. I need to get excited. Uh, attracting lure, I'm pretty sure won't work on these guys because they can't in they can't disengage. Get brain trauma? Yeah, I can try. Uh, I'll give it a try. I'm pretty sure it won't work. Oh, it did work. Crazy. Okay. Oh, okay. I thought it didn't work on people that. Oh, maybe it doesn't work if they can't disengage because quite often you think they can disengage, but they can't because there's like a rock behind them or a wall behind them or something and they don't have that room to be able to jump back. Um, hmm. Oh, yeah. So what I was talking about before with the tiptoeing, this is a perfect example of it here. Um, you can like loot, you can loot something and then tip top, tip toe to the back to the next thing. It doesn't make them flee. Yeah, it, it, you know, it, did, it just did make him flee. But like that guy is immune to all alone and stuff. He's like, um, he's like immune to fear basically. So I thought it didn't work on characters that were like that because I've had it previously. I've you tried to use it and it didn't work. And I thought it was because it didn't work on people that were immune to all alone. Um, but it must have just been that, the, you know, the person I'd used it on previously was just blocked by a wall or something. Because, yeah, it seems to work on, seems to work on flagellants. And they are immune to all alone, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> so I haven't used any movement. I've still got three blue pills, right? Um, and I've got my blue pill mark, my marker is there. But if I go, if I stand on it and just keep one foot on it, kind of like a um, baseball thing i can get to this point over here without without using any movement and then i can access it but don't pick it up and then um now my blue spot's moved and then i can move over here a bit more go back a bit till my blue spot goes away there we go haven't used any movement and now i can access all these ones Uh, oh, Wolfsport says, don't treat a cold body with anything more than 36 degrees, with anything more than 36 degrees Celsius, and angle the limbs so the cold blood doesn't rush back to the body core. Okay, crazy. Um, it's probably not that useful to Australians because it's very temperate here and no one's going to really get frozen or anything. But um, but yeah, a lot of our northern, northern hemisphere brothers can uh, probably get some use out of that. So Wilson says, don't treat a cold body with anything more than 36 degrees Celsius and angle the limbs so that the cold blood doesn't rush back to the body core. How do you angle the limb? You mean like, so don't like, like if they got a really cold arms, don't put their arms above their head because that would make the blood rush back. Limb can handle the low temperature, but the organs can't. Okay. That's what got hammered into my head by the German mountaineers. Cool. All right. Nice. Some survival techniques there. Thanks, Tools Paul. <laughs> well, hopefully no one gets hypothermia in the near future. But um, yeah, that could be some some life-saving tips. Alright, we'll pull this guy back a little bit because he's valuable and he's also carrying a lot of loot. Put him in dodge stance if, if behind our uh, tank. Um, but yeah, so I was tiptoeing using those um, using those wordstones. But yeah, so the uh, so the um, fucking 
useless prick. So the uh, yeah, the guy with the free perception, he can basically tiptoe without having a bag to pick up or anything. He can just use his free perception to get a tiptoe point. But then, but yeah, he can't keep doing it unless he fails the perception test. Yeah, so if we can somehow make him so dumb that he just always fails every perception test, then we can make him basically invincible. He'd be like the Flash. He'd be able to move across the whole map in the same time that everyone else in his one, one single turn. It would, it would be like the Flash in terms of the other game characters would perceive him as moving infinitely fast. But from our perception, he would be moving really slowly and it would take like an hour to do each turn. It would suck really bad. Would not recommend. They got two warrior priests. All right, I think we kill the squishy one first. That's my plan. All right. We're going to move this guy into about here. And we're going to pop Warcry. Give all these guys extra damage. Then... I don't want to get on the one that's armored because he's already got a um, he's already got somebody on him, so you know we can stack up easier. We aren't going to get as many on the other guy, but the other guy's in cloth, so he's going to be a lot easier to kill, I reckon. Um, but he does have a hammer strike that he's going to counterattack me with. That's going to be pretty painful. Yeah. But it is what it is. Oof. Max rank for warbands is rank ten, but getting your warband to rank ten is nothing like maxing out your warband. That's just you know, step one. Rank ten. Rank ten just means that you unlock all your war, all your warband slots, and all of your hero types, um, all your base hero types. But then you can unlock even more hero types using reputation and stuff with your um, with your warpstone ship shipments. And then um, and then obviously you've got like weapon kitting out all your weapons, training all your skills, and enchanting uh, all your gear. Um, but you don't even have all the enchantment um, stuff. Um, you don't have all the enchantment recipes at the start, so it's going to take ages to get all the enchantments unlocked and stuff. So, yeah, so it's like, yeah. So rank 10 is the highest rank, but it's not nothing like, you know, a maxed out warband. Oh, yeah, big crit. Nice. Start doing campaign missions when you're max level. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I'm sort of scared to do the campaign missions, honestly. Um, I feel like this warband would get wrecked. This warband's rank six, so we're still a ways off rank, max rank, but... We do have, um, I think we do have max number of heroes and units already, though. Um, but yeah, there's more like perks we can unlock and stuff. Oh, should we kill this dude? What's his, uh, hmm. Should I kill him or should I stack up on the warrior priest? Um, now yeah, I'll give it a, uh, if we get a crit, oh, let's give it a go. <laughs> Campaign missions don't scale with warband power level. The first act will probably be a breeze. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I think I'll um. Yeah, we'll start. We'll start doing the campaign missions at some point. I want to do. I want to start doing them with the um, with the war with the um, Caribou Greatswords, Merc War Band. Um, I want to put a second guy on this guy just so that he gets um, all alone check. 
Um, because if he's got two on him, then he'll have to roll to see if he runs away. Um, which, uh, even if he's not got a huge, huge chance of it, at least it's, um... At least it's an extra, you know, extra percentage chance in our favor. I have a rank eight war vampires. Not sure when to try it out. I've got multiple rank ten war bands, and I'm too scared to do it with them either as well. We can try and tiptoe a little bit here. So yeah, so I've got my blue spot back. We'll do our free perception. It fucking succeeded again. Jesus Christ, dude. Stop succeeding at everything. You're an he's an overachiever, this guy. Purple weapons is maxed here. Yeah, nah, there's nothing higher than purple. But there's um, but there's um, purple enchantments that you can get on your on your purple weapons, and you know finding the right enchantments that's the one you want um, might take a while. Um, yeah, orange is only for trinkets. What? <laughs> there's no there's no orange trinkets. Oh, here he is, the big boy, Ragabond Butcher. Oh, you mean like the books and stuff? Yeah, there's, there's, um, there's, there's books and grimoires and stuff, but they're not like, they're not like, um, there's not like, they're not like items that you can carry around or do anything with there. They give you extra, they give you extra skill points and stuff. Can attracting lure make an enemy flee into and trigger an ambush? That's a really good question, Hans Gruber. How you going, Hans Gruber, by the way? Um, yeah, I'm not sure, actually. That's a really good question. I've actually, I've wondered that myself, actually. Um, a new round has started. Captain Codpiece is our resident Mordheim expert at the moment, but I think he's, I don't think he's here anymore. I think he might have dropped off. Yeah, he's usually on chat on uh, chat in um, Twitch chat, but I don't, yeah, I don't see him there anymore. He was here before. Um, if you um, if you go onto the Mordheim, um, yeah, the Mordheim, what's it called Mordheim tournament Discord or whatever it was, the one that I shared the other day. Um, apparently, that's a really good place to ask questions. Like those dudes are like the experts of. Uh, more of uh, like there's heaps of really long time long term players, um, including Paranoia, which is the guy who made the the multiplayer mod. So yeah, so if you ever if you ever want to ask somebody who's like an expert at Mordheim, go check out the tournaments of Mordheim Discord. And uh, yeah, Captain Codpiece said that you know they're pretty helpful and there'll definitely be somebody there that knows the answer kind of thing. So if you can just jump on there now and ask them and tell me the answer, that'd be cool. Um, have, you ever, have you ever played this on tabletop? No, I never played on tabletop. I used to play. Um, I used to play Necromunda on tabletop though. Although we didn't really play that much Necromunda. We played a bit of Necromunda, but then we also like used the Necromunda, Necromunda miniatures to play like our own like homebrew Necromunda like D&D style role playing game type thing. Uh, played a bit of that as well. 
like using the Necromunda miniatures and set in the Necromunda world and everything. But it was like more like a D&D role-playing game. Um, is this the one... I've oh, got no blood... We've got no blood... Um, Uh, um, hmm. All right, wait, let's, um, can we get through here? Fuck, no. Um, okay, actually, we could probably get around here. Okay, cool. We'll just quickly, quickly give this guy a bit of a stab in. Thanks, buddy. And then... That guy's an ambush stance, but this this um, Dark Soul here, his circle is blocking line of like the line of charge for his ambush, so he can't get me. Spearman looks pretty. He looks pretty cool, doesn't he? He's probably my favorite. Um. All right, and then. Uh, cruise over here. Chuck a bit of a stabby stab into this bad boy as well. Oh, he went he went down hard. Didn't enjoy that at all. So we'll try and tiptoe again here. So we've got two we've got two blue pills, we don't want to waste them. Just tiptoe forward, check out his backpack. And Yeah, we'll just put him in dodge. Uh, we could put him in parry, use his shield. Um, actually, no, I won't put him in dodge stance because we've still got attacks left. So I'll forego my defense entirely and we'll just um, stab this guy. Yeah, this guy doesn't have very powerful weapons. And he doesn't have any kind of armor piercing, like mutant arm or anything cool, you know? So, uh, yeah. He's got a long ways to go. He's just, he's only level one, so. He looks big and scary, but he's not, he's not kitted out yet. Have you thought of playing a live tournament with another? Hey, Mark Thompson. Um, yeah, nah, probably won't. I might, um... <clears throat> Yeah, maybe we could do a friendly game or something sometime, but I'm not really that into multiplayer. Um, I just kind of like to play single player and have my little my little dudes having their adventures and stuff, you know. I really want to get a charge on this guy. Two, three, three. Um, yeah, actually, all right. Let's um, let's get a charge on this guy. Uh, no worries, Will's Paul. I'll be I'll be going to bed soon too. I think. Thanks for hanging out as always. Thanks for the um, thanks for the gifted um, memberships as well. Appreciate it. Was it? Yeah, I think that was you. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, buddy. Nothing like a bit of bedtime Mordheim. I really like I really like playing these um, Mordheim sessions after the why am I like I think if I just played Mordheim like Oh Fuck. Um so spellcasters when spellcasters cast a spell um, they have to roll to see if they succeed at the spell. Sometimes they fail and nothing happens. And then separately to the success chance, there's a chance for um, Zeech Backlash or um, Divine Backlash or whatever. And um, yeah, you can, you can counteract it with skills and stuff. But yeah, anyway, so that guy, 
I don't know whether he succeeded or failed in casting the spell, but afterwards he got backlash. And one of the back, one of, there's a bunch of different random effects that can happen when you backlash. And one of them is um, just an AO where everybody within five meters gets damaged. And he, that's what happened. And so basically everyone in this five meter radius, friend and foe, all just got uh, 15 damage or whatever. So that was unpleasant. Uh, so we can hit him for 32 to 40 for three pills, or we can war cry. Yeah, so 32 to 40, or we can order Vagabond, which, oh, is Vagabond not in range? Oh, he's not, what? Oh, shit. Is Vagabond not... Oh man, I thought Vagabond was on him, but he's not. Um, oh well, Ulfbluth is hitting for seventy-one to eighty, so we'll we'll let him use we'll let him use the attack anyway. Boom. And yeah, actually, we'll chuck another one onto him because uh, he might kill that guy. Zinch has taken my Necro, causing 9,000... Yeah, yeah. He lived with only a scratch after a couple of days. Oh, nice. Yeah, um, I, I think I had one, one of my characters get um, that 9,999 damage, and then they got, like, crippled or whatever. And they were... Yeah. So, I didn't like that. I was afraid of magic after that. cast yeah I'm pretty sure I've had that as well where I've like cast a spell with a new character and he's just like instantly killed himself um yeah another one you can do is AoE stun it's like a five meter five meter radius everyone in the radi in that radius gets a stun check um but with stun resistance and stuff like not everyone will be automatically be stunned but yeah uh so we could charge this guy but if he'll probably charge me um and um yeah so what we can charge him for extra damage but he'd probably charge me as well and you know so what instead what we'll do is we'll just walk in so we'll just go like this and then we'll just walk into combat so he didn't get his charge we didn't get he'll still counter attack but we'll, we'll just get like one less attack than he otherwise would have um now he's pinned now we can charge him I uh, only got 54% chance to hit, but if we do, it'll be a big hit. He's still counterattacking, that's okay. If you fail a stupidity check, it means you miss your turn. Here's our faceless mutant. Um, I'm actually going to disband. I'm going to sell this guy afterwards. So... With two-handed weapons, the first attack costs two red pills. The second attack costs three. So five, five red pills for two attacks. He's only got six red pills, so the max I can do is two attacks anyway. So I may as well spend the extra red pill to get um, a charge in as well. And there you go. And because he's um because he's stunned, he doesn't um he doesn't have me engaged anymore. So I can do a free disengage normally, but um this particular type of character can't disengage um voluntarily. So yeah. If I had have just moved in, I could have hit that warrior priest. 
Probably killed him. That's right. A new foe has presented himself. So all of these Dark Souls, their jobs are just to, is just to basically take hits and be beefcakes. That's um that's the same as um, this guy Vagabond Butcher, except he's like the elite, he's like the elite boss level version of a Dark Soul, whereas he just has heaps of armor, heaps of health. He's just as dumb as the rest of them, but he's a lot harder to kill. A new round has started. No damn disengages. My troops drop by flies. Well, yeah, try try the attracting lure. I've been really enjoying it. I think I'm going to try and take attracting lure on all of my Dark Souls and on all of my Marauders. Um, like all my characters that can't disengage. Because, yeah, basically, instead of you disengaging, you make them disengage. Um, and if you've got more than one character on them, then um, they get um, multiple hits on them. It's pretty cool. I don't know why I did that. should have left the space so that somebody else could have come in and killed him. I'm kind of liking the Magister with the two-handed sword, i got to say. Um, I was originally thinking about giving him, like, armor and a shield. So he could act as sort of like an off-tank or something. But I think it's kind of better to keep him as, like, a just a support for support character. But he can also just do damage. So I kind of just protect him. Would be the plan. Oh, yeah. Because this just dropped him. Good job. Can we loot him? Mm, no, he's loot. He's obscured. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're gonna get to get him in there, but um, it's okay. We'll. Uh, so this guy causes fear, but I'm pretty sure that flagellants are immune to fear. Um, immune to all alone fear and terror. Yeah, so. Uh, if we could put him onto somebody who's not immune to fear, that would be better value. But yeah, there's no one. There's no one that's not immune to fear, unfortunately. Yeah, Tracking Lure is pretty cool. And there's also a skill called Blood Offering. And when you do Blood Offering, it gives you like, um, like the, it doesn't give you extra damage on the on the attack, the Blood Offering attack. It costs one extra red pill, like a charge. But um, any follow-up attacks after that get like 50% extra damage and 40% armor penetration or something. So it's uh, really, yeah, it's really good. On a, on a, especially on a damage dealer. All right, let's get um, let's get a big charge in here. I am loving this Marauder, I gotta say. It's pretty cool. Just need to get an armband for him. Oh, here we go, attracting Lua. Get wrecked, son! <laughs> two red pills that I got two free attacks out of it. And he didn't even get away because um, he's got stunned. Yeah, that attracting Lua is so good. I can't wait till I've got that on like five different characters so we can just, you know. Attracting lure the crap out of everyone. Yeah, I feel like this Chaos Warband is going to be pretty lethal once we get it going.
Um, there, uh, I don't know if you can see the, yeah, you can see the red, uh, red bar there. So their leadership 79065. So probably if we kill one or maybe two more of their guys, then they're going to, um, oh, I should have charged actually. Oh, actually you can disengage for free when somebody's stunned. Sorry, even though I got caught on him, I can just unengage again. So yeah, we can charge. It says 82% chance to hit, but actually it's 100% because he's stunned. And that gives us 50% extra damage. It's pretty nice. And then we can hit him again for 43 to 54. Or we can walk right, give everyone 20% extra damage. And then he can hit for 80 to 90. Finish him. Oh, fair said finish him. All right, fuck it, I'll finish him. Any important deaths or dismemberments? No, we've been doing pretty well so far. Oh, I mean, I totally forgot about collecting the bodies. We need Bartolf and Ruben. That guy's Bartolf. That guy's Ruben. Okay. Um, hmm. Is that? No, that's not him. Oh, it's that one there, isn't it? Yeah, it's that guy. Um, that's right. Whatever. Oh, that's it. They're done. Yeah! Quick game's a good game. So we didn't get any extra XP for doing a secondary objective, um, but we got a heap of wordstone. Got like uh, 18 pieces of wordstone. We picked up like every bit of wordstone in the map. And we got 12 loot items from... Uh, control in the battlefield because we you won. You have proven yourself worthy of the dark blessings of chaos. Each victory you render to the Shadow Lord brings you that much closer to your destiny. Victory! All right, so we'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of that um, nice lame progress. Get rid of that lame marauder. Nice progress. Ulfbirth's getting nearly. I'm liking Ulfbirth. He's not like perfect, but he's pretty cool. It's pretty good. Remarkable. Um. Yeah, I think we'll get rid of that Marauder. He's pretty useless. Another blue helmet. Oh, another blue, blue weapon. Nice. If we get a purple axe or something, that'd be pretty good. All right, so let's pay our warband. Now let's um, sack this guy. Because um, yeah, we showed we showed off his gimmick. It wasn't that good. <laughs> um, and I want to get a new marauder. Get a rank zero one. I feel like we should maybe just wait till we get a higher level one. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really liking this Marauder, but um, yeah, I don't know. All right, so he's rank one. He's still good. He's rank one. He's still good. Uh, Reapers rank 10. I'm still not sure what I'm going to do with his points. We'll save him for now. It would be good to put him in and use him, but... I sort of... Yeah, I'm sort of tossing up either put three into strength and make him like a weird heavy armor kind of dude, um, which is probably really stupid. Um, or... We put the three into... So we can either make him a dodge tank and um, we either put the three points into toughness or we give him a book of agility and put three points into agility. 
or we make him a melee resist armor tank, which probably is, doesn't really work. And we could put the three into strength, but yeah, I don't know. Tracking lure only takes one day, costs a hundred gold. Okay, I'm doing it. Let's do it. You're worth it. You're worth it, vagabond butcher. You're my favorite. I don't know if we've have we got a wolf's pool in this campaign. I don't know if we do. I believe we're going to sleep, wolf's pool. Um, yeah, I think we need a wolf's pool. Instead of wolf birth, he'd be wolf birth. It'd be called wolf Paula. Wolf Paula. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just leave him as he is. Or maybe we'll give him, maybe we'll give him different colored pants. Yeah, well, there we go. We'll give you green. We'll give you green pants to. Uh, Show your mixed loyalties between Zich and uh, Corn and Nogal. <laughs> All right, and we shall get our. So he's ranked two, two and nine, and this guy's two and one. Uh, yeah, we'll put we'll put him. We'll switch. Switch him for him and him for him. And he can have a blue axe and blue clothing. Wolf spawn. He's called Wolf. He's called Wolf's Powler. He's the Wolf's Powler. I'm not sure what Powlering means, but I'm pretty sure it means something pretty bad in Chaos speak. And yeah, he's got, he's got, currently he's got a blue, um, oh no, he's got a purple armband. That's why, that's our first, our first purple weapon. He got a purple armband. That's why he's, he's laying down the pain right now. If we get him a purple axe as well, it'd be pretty sweet. I'm steadfastly refusing to give him any defense. It's just all about laying down the pain. Damage. Yeah, no, we've got nothing for enchanting. Got no recipes. We've got, uh, we've got, we've got chests actually. We could give him accuracy and strength. Yeah, I can give him accuracy and strength. There we go. Glorious. Got eight unspent points. Um, should we give him? Can we give him? Uh, how much does it take for adrenaline rush? Two turn, two days. Hmm. I can't remember what I wanted to give him else. Oh yeah, increase the critical chance of charge attacks. That's right, I wanted to give him that. It takes three days though. But yeah, increase the critical chance to 20%. That way he could just come in and like, just char crit charge people all the time. Be sweet.
Yeah, I think I want to get... Um, yeah, no worries, we'll spoil. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate the generosity. Yeah, I think I want to get crit assault, but um, I don't want to. I don't want him to be out for two days, though. Three days, sorry. We'll wait till we get like some new heroes that we want to try out or whatever, and then we can rest him up for a bit. Oh, I forgot to. I've been forgetting to send off my uh, my shipments. We've got 242 words starting to send off. It's 2.4k. You are becoming famous. Nice. So they're all equal to rank two now. Alright, let's do one more quick one. Uh, I kind of want to do the hardest ones all the time, so we'll go for this one. Seemingly alone in the ruins, you take the opportunity to send your warriors to pillage the nearby buildings. As your warband disperses and begins to explore, however, an enemy warband arrives and deploys its own patrols in the area. Now just like everybody will die. A new round has started. Oh, this guy's still got a dagger. I forgot to replace this guy. All right. Um. Oh, vamps, and that's their lord right there. All right. Um. Hmm. Wolf parlor. Um, gonna gonna try to Oh, blue light armor. That's pretty cool. Right, we're going to try to get this guy around here. Oh. Oh, I thought he was... I thought Wolf Pala was outside the building, so I was coming out to try to protect him. But he's not. He's upstairs. <laughs> okay. Plan B. Okay, so we're gonna um, we're gonna stay inside. Try to stay inside here. Um, yeah, we'll try and stay inside the buildings and make them come to us. And we'll just sort of stack up inside here. Oh shit! There's a Zeech demon in the map. We got another demon. We haven't killed a Zeech demon yet. This will be our first Zeech demon if we can kill this one. We've killed a Nurgle demon and we've killed a... Yeah, we've killed a Nurgle demon and we've killed a Slanesh demon so far. And we've had a we've had a corn demon help us in a fight, basically. Or maybe he might have killed one of my guys as well. How, many, how often does the demon attack your units? Um, the, it's just like the demon just acts as like a third team. There's like... There's like my team, the enemy team, and the demon team. The demon's just got one unit. Oh, there he is. Shit. Alright, hopefully he's not going to come in here. 
but you know, I'm sure he probably will. Hopefully he'll see them and he'll go after them first. But yeah, I don't know. Let's see what happens, I guess. You only see it on campaign missions? Yeah, if you go on, um, if you go do any brute, if you do brutal or deadly missions, the demons never appear on hard or lower, only on brutal and deadly. Um, and yeah, because we've been doing, I think we've done a brutal, brutal or deadly every mission except for one where there was none available. So yeah, we've got more chance of getting them, I guess. Watch out for, oh. Oh, yeah, cool. They engaged, the, the demon engaged the vampire lord. Oh, they're beating the crap out of each other. All right, this is pretty much the best possible thing that could have happened to us. Oh, yeah, the um, the Zeech demon does a lot of like weird AOE spells as well, yeah. I wonder if we can do the secondary mission this time. Okay, so... Okay, so the, the Vampire Lord is one of our targets. We've got to kill three different guys and take their... Uh, take their things. How is it that you always get the demons to engage the enemy warband and for me they always spawn right at my start point? Um, I don't know. I feel like you might be awfulizing a little bit. I find it unlikely that, you know, in every match you have a demon spawn at your start point. But um, I've certainly been attacked by demons in the past. But um, but yeah, I've been pretty, uh, been pretty fortunate this one. But yeah, I do, um, I, I mean, there's some good management to it as well. I mean, I usually try to, I try to make sure that they're, um, try to make sure that the enemy warband's in between me and the demon as much as I can. But I, I luckily haven't had one spawn directly on top of me. So um yeah, so we're basically just gonna chill in here for a second. Let the um hopefully let some of the AI stack up on the demon so they get like multiple of their guys engaged with the demon. And that way we'll be basically we'll automatically be outnumbering them, you know, like if if three of their guys guys are on the demon, then you know we're gonna have no problem outnumbering them. So I'm just gonna hide for a turn essentially. If they want to send some guys in here, like um, like the odd man in here, where we can take care of them. The wolf polar. To be fair, I consider activating close enough to reach my cart on turn one, as right on me, but that's not quite true. No, I'd 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 consider yeah. If you get if you're getting attacked by the demon like on turn one then I'd consider that to be right on top of you. But I'm saying, I don't feel like that happens to you like every single match. That, that was the part that I was I was uh, questioning. It might've been a bit hyperbolic. Uh, okay, let's, um, let's pop a war cry. Boost all my, uh, boost all my favorite dudes. Everyone's all charged up. 
Once we get some magic enchants and skills, um, it'll be good to be able to uh, weapons of destruction people as well. If we could get a purple sword so that Wolf Polar could parry, that'd be the best thing ever. Purple one handed sword. Yeah, once we start, um, once we, uh, once our warband level gets higher and we start equipping all of our guys with blue weapons and stuff, then um, hopefully we'll start seeing the AI carrying more um, blue and purple weapons that we can loot. Um, I haven't actually looted any, oh, maybe one. I haven't looted much in the way of items from the enemy so far. Yeah, I'm, I'm into the idea of a necromancer a necromancer um, or a Nurgle Lord. Like, if you want to play a Nurgle Warband, you have, like, a necromancer as your, um, as your, mag instead of your Magister. I think that'd be kind of cool. But it would take you a long time to work up to it. You have to, um... Where the hell are we? Oh, we're trapped. Um, no, no, we get through here, we're fine. We're fine, we don't need to panic. Yeah, I used to do that as well, Suzu, yeah. With my um, with my Caribou Great Swords warband. I wonder if putting like white like white items in there would make any difference. Excuse me. I'm asleep, getting tired. It's my Dark Souls, they're crazed. I can't wait till we have like a full stack of like level, uh, a full stack of maxed out Dark Souls. Like this bad boy. Um, yeah, I want to give him a, uh, I want to give him maybe a web of, maybe like web of steel and I don't know yet, actually. But yeah, I've given him shield specialist, but I like him with the two-hander. But I was sort of thinking maybe his special skill can be that he can switch to a shield if like, uh, you know, if I want him to defend. A new round has started. Cool, so basically all we did in the first round was consolidate all our guys, so now we're in one big massive pile, and if they send any guys in here, then their guys are just going to get wrecked. I'm sort of hoping that if we can identify their marked... If we can identify their marked characters, so their leader will get him last. The leader, that ghoul, and that necromancer. Thing is, if we kill this vampire and these two necromancers, then they probably will rout. Maybe. Maybe not. Let's see how we go. Um, I don't want that necromancer. Uh, I might try to, actually, I might try to pull her out. I don't know, okay. Um, got this ghoul here as well we've got to deal with. Uh, all right, let's try and pull this ghoul out here. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get our secondary objective done. Sorry. Excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry, bit of a sneeze.
All right. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get our secondary objective done. Maybe we can try and kill the um, Zeech, kill the Zeech demon for glory. Just kind of screwing up my uh, screwing up my scene. delay. Yeah, I've had I've had um, a bunch of demon attacks so far in this campaign. Maybe this um, with this faction. Uh, yeah, this uh, this fucking ghoul's in the way. Um, about we all right let's all right we'll go over here um yeah we'll go over here we'll cast idol of blood and uh, Like there. If it backlash. Nice. So we got backlash, and because only the enemy was in range, it was just me and me and the enemy just got backlashed. So that was cool. Um, and then we'll walk around him. And. We'll hit him, which will heal me. Now I'm healed. Now I'm healed up to full, and we actually did damage to him with our backlash. And this guy. There's the demon down there. There's the two necromancers that we want to kill. Um, that's right. I might um. Yeah, I'll just put this guy here. That way, where it's like the two tanks and the and the um, blood idol are like the first first targets that any enemies coming into this gate will see. Remember your ABC? Always be considerate. That's not what it is. It's ABC is always be charging. It's the golden rule. Always be charging.
the inflamed. That's right. The engorged. Um, Alright, well, um, we'll get him to just snare, slide on in here. Mmm, nice. Wow. Business taken care of. He's not one of our. Uh, he's not one of our targets. So, this vampire hero. She's got movement of seven, which means she outranges all of our guys. Um, that means if I try and charge her, she'll charge me first. But this guy has got clawed feet and he's got movement eight. So I can charge her from outside of her charge range like a mouse. So I failed my fear test, which means I got minus 30% chance to hit. Um, which you can see is not great. So she she succeeded in her leadership test. Fear fails and still hits. Yeah, I know what a boss. All right. Hopefully we can fit one more guy in the corner, but I don't think we will. Let's see how we go. Uh, but uh, if not, um, our lord should be able to sort it out. Okay, um, so we could we could climb up, jump around, and get behind her, but we're not going to do that. We're going to use our war cry to tiptoe a little bit. Give Wolf Polar the extra damage. Um, this is, um, we've got master, uh, we've got master level, um, order. No, we got regular order. It doesn't give any bonus to hit. So, um... Yeah, it's only gonna have 50% chance to hit, I think. 58% or whatever. Good enough. 89 damage, that's pretty glorious. You know, two more chances. No? Alright. Yeah. Nice. Now we've finally got somebody who does some damage. This order leader is so much better now. Because he's actually got somebody he can order. I like this guy, he looks cool. Is this the one we want to kill or is this the other one that we don't care about? <laughs> he just, um, so he got backlash and it stunned him, just single target stun on himself. 
You can also get an AOE stun that stuns everyone in, within five meters, but yeah. We should be able to get three or four guys stacked up on him, so he's dead, I would say. Beefcake, just absorb it. Alright, um... Oh yeah, so our target is the the archer. true for you. Alright, I'd say he'll be those those two guys hopefully will handle him. If not Okay, 66 chance percent chance to hit, but it's 100 percent because he's because uh, he's uh, stunned. Yeah, these guys are gonna break before we get to finish the secondary objective for sure. A new round has started. Oh, I got a ghoul behind us here. Um, uh, this guy should just probably kind of hide over here somewhere. Just try not to die, I guess. The more guys that are alive at the end of the match, the more um, of the random loot that you pick up that's remaining in the map. So even though we don't care about this guy on a personal level, he's another body. He's another, uh, another henchman that can potentially be picking up loot. Step, step, step. Seventy. Great sword, but not the... Not a blue or a purple one, like we wanted. Yeah, where's this... Where's this ghoul? Ghoul was last spotted in there. Oh, he's still in there. Okay. Um, all right. Shit. Yeah, I missed that. Sorry, Kingers. Is that oh, is that my ghoul? Is that a different one? Do you do you realize you can take almost any piece of classical music and just insert the word "stab" as every note? 
like stabby stab stab stabby stabby stab stab stabby stab stab stabby stabby stab 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 that that's what like that no no that's not the one we want the one we want's in there um yeah ghouls don't feel fear but necromancers do so i think we'll put this guy on the necromancer where he can do the most fear He's right there. Um, we want him to be as much, we want as much space around him as we can make. Uh, we'll... Try and move out here a little bit. Not too much so he doesn't charge yet. And then we'll... Whack down the idol of blood. Kind of just casually. Yeah, I was hoping that would actually get him. Oh, so. Yeah, this is a trick that Codpiece caught, taught me. If you, if you, if I move inside to his ambush radius like I am right now, then he'll ambush, he'll charge me, right? But if you're standing on top of your blue spot, then they can't charge, they can't charge you until you move off your blue spot. So because I like edged right up to the wall, like almost into his range, and then I um, I cast my blood idol. As soon as I cast the blood idol, it put my red, put my blue spot exactly where I was. And so then I can edge over a little bit more, so I was in charge range, but still um, not off my blue spot, so he couldn't charge me. So I'm inside his charge range, but his ambush is not triggering because I'm on my blue spot. Pretty cool. I've actually never used that successfully before now, so that's, that's pretty fun. So yeah, he, wait, he just wasted his ambush. Um, he's got, he got a counterattack anyway, but still, it's pretty cool. Um, so, so you're saying, yeah, for, for however many people we've got alive at the end of the mission, um, we've got, we get 6% of the remaining loot per living guy on Brutal or 7% per living guy on Deadly. It's pretty cool. So if we have like 10 guys, that's 70% on Deadly or 60 on, um, 60 on Brutal. All right, see if this guy can get all the way back over to the side with his super fast legs and uh, help us kill this ghoul. Let's get a sweet free heal at the same time. Not quite. Hmm. Oh no, I miss. Oh, he's probably still got fear on, hasn't he? Nope. Oh, I haven't got enough blue pills to do um, distracting lure. Um, 
Yeah, no, I'll let them handle that necromancer. He's fine. I can reach him. Um, can we... I'm not sure if we can war cry. Oh, no, we can't war cry because we're... Uh, hmm. Alright, we'll, we'll pump him uh, full of orders because at least with three orders, it'll give him three attacks. He might hit the wrong guy, but he'll still... Uh, well, if he hits anybody, then he'll get a heal. But if he doesn't hit anyone, then he won't get a heal. Sweet heal. Nice. And, um, yeah, we're just, we're just sitting here. He's off. He's scarping. Yep, oh, didn't get far. be charging. Nope. Charging does give reduce your accuracy by 10%, so you got more chance to miss. Yeah, so when you charge, you got 10% chance you got 10% more chance to miss. But you miss a hundred percent of the charges that you don't take. So I think um, I think like Magic Johnson said that or someone. No, not Magic Johnson. Who's um oh, Michael Jordan? Yeah. Should have just left. I should have just let him kill out of the guy. Uh, I might just send this guy off to loot because he's. I feel like he's pretty low on health and he's not really gonna... The vampires are really 1v1 in the siege demon. <clears throat>
So, <clears throat> excuse me, this dreg has a movement of three. Um, so he must have like one leg and also heavy armor. So we can just casually move around him without worrying about him charging me because he doesn't have enough movement to make it to me. Um, let's put the tank on the back of this other ghoul so that he um, has a 50% 50, 50 chance to hit the tank instead of Wolf Polar. Burn. It's a weird name for a fantasy setting. Oh yeah, I think if you kill the pink horror, it turns into a blue horror. This is law friendly. I wonder if you get a do you get the XP for killing the red the pink horror and for killing the blue horror? Objective completed. Objectives updated. Okay, um... Stunned myself and stunned him. Yeah, I'm looking forward to when this guy gets a purple armband and uh, he's just wrecking foes. Um, can we? Yeah, so I think because because there's nowhere for him to escape to, it won't let me do um, it won't let me do the lure. Funny how, I, like, I always hated um, cast warbands. I never thought they were very good, and then, um, yeah, I'm like really enjoying this one. Okay, um... 
Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna delay. Because if I go into melee with the... If I go into melee with the, um... God damn it. Uh, I came in here, so, I mean, I was waiting so that I could, um... I was waiting so that this guy could come in. And I could order him. Use chains of chaos before. Let's try it. Oh, I think he, I think he succeeded in his magic resist roll. What a dick! Objective completed. So if we can kill Objectives their, updated. if we can kill their lord, uh, like they, so, their their leadership's at fifty two over sixty four. So they next time they get the chance to roll a leadership test, they're gonna fail. They're gonna potentially fail it, and that'll end the mission. But if by some miracle they don't, they they pass it, and if we can kill their lord before anything else happens then we might get the secondary objective but they're probably going round has started I mean their lord is still awake I mean their lord's up so he's got the highest leadership probably in their warband so I guess they've got the decent chance of decent chance of passing it. Pass. Okay. Now we've got to kill this. We've got to kill this lord and loot him before they right, before they fail out on the rafters. If we kill that pink horror at the same time, it'll be even more cool. <laughs> it's the penalty for using magic corn scum. Exactly. Um, yeah, my Marauder's fucking trapped in here now. This is bullshit.
It's a lot of attacks. Car is. Uh, no, we can't really risk attacking the pink horror because if we do, then um, it'll stop. It'll stop damaging him. And disengage. And then we can. Always be charging. Bro, this guy's gonna fail his terror test. Um, oh well, whatever. Scorn could be a fragrance, smell of blood, sweat, and charred oak. Sounds pretty good. Oh crap. I really want to get the secondary objective. But I don't want my whole war band to die. Lee. The demon's gonna... Yeah, the demon's gonna kill him, and then he's gonna route on the wrong turn. This guy's popped frenzy on me. He's gone berserk. Okay, so now we actually need to reduce the chances of him dying. So we want to distract this demon. Plus, if we kill the demon, then we'll get more um, glory from corn, which is always, which is always great. Who doesn't love a bit of extra glory, a bit of extra corn glory? We're just gonna tank. We're just gonna tank this guy. 
So I don't want him to I don't want him to get any more route tests. A new round has started. Dodge stance on. Hopefully the demon's not gonna kill him. Crit, that means he's going to be out for a turn. Yeah. No! Oh. No! Oh. Stop it! Oh, god damn it. If my guy went next in the initiative order, I would have got a chance to like pick up. I would have got a chance to pick up the um, the loot, I think, before um, before they routed, and then we would have got the secondary objective and extra loot and experience for everybody, and it would have been glorious. But uh, yeah, I was really, I was sort of, uh, yeah, Your I know. ruthless ambition serves you I was well. starting to get that the feeling like, oh, maybe we're gonna get it, maybe we're gonna get it, maybe we're gonna get the, uh, maybe we're gonna get the secondary objective, and we're gonna get to kill the demon, and they're gonna keep passing their route tests, and we'll get to kill a bunch of other kills. But no, we didn't get any of that stuff. But such, such is life. At least, uh, at least the vagabond butcher is okay. He only got a light wound. Outstanding. Zeech did not will it. No, that is true. This guy, uh, level five, is going to get another mutation, so we can find out, find out how valuable he's going to be. The gods are with you. Nice progress. What do we get? Blue shield. We can't use hunting rifles. Blue armor. Yeah, nothing too nothing too special. And what are we trying to get here? Rank seven magister, rank seven chaos spawn. Rank seven chaos spawn would be nice. Uh, I might just go for the normal just go for our main I don't really want to get any of the other, uh, like, I don't really want to un unlock any of the other factions, heroes, or Skaven, or anything. Just more, more, more good old fashioned chaos. Uh, I might just fire all these guys now because they're getting too high level. Yeah, and then we'll just hire a bunch of rank zero, rank zero Dark Souls, so that our um, average warband rating will be quite low. Even though we've got some real badasses over here, the game will um, think that we've got a pretty low warband rating, so it'll it'll just match our rating, and our heroes will then be kind of extra extra good compared to the average level. If 
fire them because they're high level. What blast move is this? Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, so our whole, our warband rating is our warband, whole, total warband rating is sixteen twenty three, which is pretty low considering um, we've got um, you know we've got rank ten and rank nine, rank eight guys and stuff in this side, in this side. Um, so yeah, so we're not going to spend any money on any skills or anything. Save it. Just keep saving our money. <clears throat> New hired swords are available. Uh, oh, cool. Our, the rank seven leader that I wanted is still there, so that's cool. Um, this other wounded rank seven leader is still there. This is the same rank four spawn that was here before. Uh, the executioner arm is pretty cool, but the demon soul immune to all alone and magic resistance is pretty crap because they're already immune to all alone anyway. In my opinion, uh, there's a rank seven uh, brother. In, yeah, it's nothing, nothing too good. Nothing we want. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, I think we'll just we'll just leave. Um, yeah, we'll just leave it like that. So um, yeah, I might have a I might uh, log off now, guys, and go have a rest. But um, but yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for hang hanging out. And uh, the countdown's still running. Seventeen minutes, seventeen hours, fifty-seven minutes, and fifty-one seconds till we can showcase the new um, five point zero um, free LC update stuff for Empire and Dwarfs and Nurgle. Um, so yeah, I'll be starting a new campaign. Um, yeah, in 18, 18 hours from now. So yes, hopefully I'll see you guys then. All right, I will chuck our host over to somebody, and uh, and I will get some sleep. Yeah, no worries, I slept. See you, man. See you, everybody. Catch you guys next time.